Hey everybody, welcome back. We lost the last run, but I, I, I'm not sweating it, man. Like, I think that was a really good attempt. Am I really gonna debase myself with some tainted Lazarus right after? No. <laughs> I'm not. I don't know what I'm gonna do with tainted Lazarus. I gotta, I gotta... First floor planetarium? What the... So we're trying to do tainted Azazel. Um, true ending or delirium. I, I got, you know, no matter what, that's two runs. So I don't really mind. Um, like, I'm not going to shoehorn it yet, I guess is what I should say. I'm not going to say that, you know, for 100% ooh, <laughs> certainty we're going to try to do one or the other. Let's see how the run progresses and, and take it from there. I will say I, I want to, you know, I don't, I don't want to be taken out of context on this one. Help me. Um, planetarium is good. Has, has a tendency to be good. I do think there are transformative, you know, run winning items in the planetarium item pool. I do also think that um, sometimes they end up being like a little bit like crawl spaces. A little bit overrated just because of their rarity you know crawl spaces are a little better now like at least anecdotally i feel like we tend to get a little bit more um uh more item choices out of them we definitely do not want this by the way um like oftentimes you'll you'll find yourself with an item and then maybe like another item is just chilling uh, you know, elsewhere that maybe you can't make it through the stone to get to. I've been trying to figure out how to do that one. Should be able to buy a key here, worst case scenario, get into that planetarium. But I feel like the crawl spaces tend to be rated highly, or at least people are excited to see them, because they don't show up very often, and then you actually open them up, and you're like, well, you know, it could have been this, it could have been this, it could have been this, but in actuality, here's what it is, and it's not that impressive. Planetariums, I think, suffer from the same thing, but can also, like, they're weighted a little bit better. Like, for example, you can get uh, Venus, HP up, plus you feel pretty. I don't know what that actually does for us, but... You know what, let, let's see. Venus, Isaac. So you get an HP up. Charms enemies close to Isaac, but they uh, lose the charm when they get far away or not even far away but just not as close as they used to be it's good to know that's i mean certainly it's not bad to get an extra hp upgrade i'm not i'm not feeling the burn on that one uh and we're doing true ending or delirium true ending or delirium so what do you do with what do you do with the emperor in that case i was just about to say like a, a boss trap room if possible but this it's not really how that works anymore <laughs> You gotta get mighty low to get into those boss trap rooms, unless a secret room borders it. I will say, we you know, we lost the last episode. We lost the episode before that after suffering uh, the indignity of not even going the direction we were supposed to go. Um, but in spite of, you know, those two uh, cases there, I really feel like I've started to internalize like how to play this game to be better at it, including skipping deals with the devil. There was a lot of, I, I think I maybe even struggled more than the average person, uh, more, more than the average Isaac player, having played so much Afterbirth Plus so consistently uh, for so long. I feel like I had some some habits that, uh, you know, when they, they changed the meta. Dude, by the way, Venus actually seems to be freaking sweet here. Like, look at that. They're just, they're icing each other. Why kill rooms when the Earth will do it for you, mate? You know what I mean? Like, we're, the charmed enemies are, are wiping each other out. It's a beautiful thing. Um, anyway, I, I forget what I was even talking about. Long story short, um, you know, remembering where we need to go most of the time. Most of the time, remembering where we need to go. Also, um... Remembering like which items are uh, of the most import if that makes sense the highest importance That's a slap in the face just for the record and uh, like 
tailoring the run the way it feels like the run should be tailored in order to in order to maximize our chances. And I feel like you know the angel deal is one example of that. Like like focusing on the angel deal instead of focusing on we need as many devil deals as possible. Don't get me wrong. Who doesn't love brimstone? Who doesn't love mom's knife? Everybody loves them. Dude, I'm telling you, I, I heavily underrated Venus here. This is kind of amazing. Wow. I dude, that would have taken us into the into like several rooms away. <laughs> if we could get it lined up, I don't know. Okay, we should try. Balls of steel, great to know. Range up, not a huge deal, but not bad. And the tears upgrade is actually quite uh deleterious right now. But I we got plenty of time to to rebuild that. So, by the way, I wasn't smack talking planetarium. Don't don't get it twisted up. I, I wasn't out here going. The planetariums are garbage. They're always bad. I'm just saying. I think to some extent, uh, I feel like the planetariums are maybe the level of excitement people have for them is higher than the average expected value. I guess average is a word that's kind of built into expected value to begin with, but maybe you get what I mean, maybe you don't. So just want to see, do we have a, another room on the side here? We do, but I'm, I'm realizing now, it's not like you could just chain the horsemen like together over and over. Um, because as soon as you enter a room where you don't kill all the enemies on the first pass like that's the end of that right glaucoma okay also known as kane's nearsighted friend both items pretty much equally useless so we should be using the pony a little bit more frequently this runs weird it's it's not bad um but it's essentially only not bad because of venus all of our other items are like uh the few of them that we have, at least, <laughs> are pretty much... Well, okay, and the pony. The pony doesn't count in the tracker, so it looks a little a little sus, but... Okay, that gives us flies. I don't know. Um, hey, everything else is just a little, uh, a little suspicious right now. But, I mean, as far as items are going, like, just remember what Kelsey Grammer said in the deleted scenes for X3, The Last Stand? We few... We happy few, we band of brothers. For all men who spill blood this day are my brother. May they ne'er be as vile this day, made gentler by battle. And all men of England nay bed shall be made weak. For they did not fight on Crispin's day. I don't. I don't remember the whole. Qu I've never read Henry V. Um. So it's kind of like I'm. I'm struggling to keep it in my cerebellum there. But uh, what a quote, man. What a what a quote. I, I I watched it again today. Just cause it 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 gets me going, man. It's like my pump up song. Everybody else, ninth grade gym class. Do. Do hast. My name is Kid. You know, come on, get down with the sickness. For me, we few. We happy few. But and it's sorry. I, it's, I I don't apologize, but I'm sorry. Also, watching the uh, the clip over again, which I would encourage you to do. You can find it on uh, my Twitter page, https colon slash slash. And I don't know if it's a backslash or a forward slash, but here's what I'm going to say. You're not using the other one anyway, okay? Unless you're in, you know, visual basic code. Visual studio code, I should say. Come on, man. It's one of those keys on the keyboard. We don't need a backslash and a forward slash anymore. We can just, you know, make do with the one that we got, I think. There's a lot of keys on the keyboard that I'm like... You know, they're vestiges of an earlier time, I think. Like, what percentage of the time that you use the insert key are you using it on purpose? And what percentage of the times have you hit it accidentally and led to, uh, like, word wrap instead of the traditional way that you use Microsoft Office or something like that? You know how it is. It's not, you know, 90% of the time that it's used, is it's accidentally mishit. 
I'm not saying it has no use, just that most of its use is unintentional, let's say. It, it, I don't know anybody in, in the modern era, and this might not be necessarily true, like maybe... Maybe I, I, I don't go around asking it on the regular, but... Um, I guess if we're gonna try to make, like, Delirium just in case, we should get a move on here, but... Um, I don't, I don't really, I've never heard anybody be like, oh yeah, I use page up and page down to, you know, maneuver my way around, like, internet web pages and so on and so forth. I, I'm not saying it doesn't happen, I'm not saying it's meritless, but I, I, I'll be honest with you, I've been using computers since I was about six or seven years old here, so it's about 25 years. I do not know what the home key does. I don't want to press it here just in case it's... You know, it's one of those keys that exists exclusively so you can use it as a key binding for something ridiculous in a flight simulator. You're like, oh, I can hit this without screwing my whole game up. I'll make that a windshield wipers auto wipe. It's just, uh... I, I, I'm not asking for a simplified keyboard. But I will say, uh, to some extent, I, I don't think I'm a minimalist individual. Like, the... You know, the, the philosophy of minimalism, um, where you you have, like, two shirts, and you just wear those over and over. But I, I think I'm, I'm in the interest of simplifying my life a little bit more. This will not be a secret room. I don't know what I was thinking. Like, you know what I'm most excited about? It's still Sunday here. You might say, NL, that's, that's three videos recorded on the weekend. It's true, but I'm doing it because it's going to simplify the rest of my week. How about that? The little little trump card. Um, you know, it makes it a lot easier, like, when, when the baby's uh, nursing, for example. You know what? I'm going to deflect the bone back at you. Get ready. Owns. 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 Okay, like, this is... It, it's getting ridiculous. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, you know what I'm most excited to do today? I got a few chores on the to-do list. We have a combination, uh, it, like one of those everything cupboards in our kitchen where, you know, we have some cupboards that are like, this cupboard's for dishes, this cupboard's for dry sundries, like cereals and grains. Uh, I, I cannot weather the storm of another spacebar item. I'll, I'll lose my mind. <laughs> Unless it's that, which is, is pretty, it's pretty good. But I do like being able to fly uh, as well. So, like, let's let's think about this for a minute before we do anything hasty. Um, and then we, we just have some things that don't fit into any of the other categories. And those things all have their own... Uh, they all get mashed into the same cupboard, I should say. You know, like, when I was growing up, my grandma had, like, an everything drawer in her kitchen. That's where, like, if you needed rubber bands or scissors or, like, clothes pins or something like that. They, you know, if you couldn't find it anywhere else, maybe you needed, like, scotch tape or something like that. It was always located, like, in this one random drawer. Um, I got that, but it's, like, a cupboard in my kitchen, and I'm cleaning that bad boy out today. It's got... Medicine. Let, let's just peep this real quick. Is is got medicine? Uh, it's another space bar item, huh? Who would have thought? It's got spices. Some of those spices, one thousand percent. I bought like two domiciles ago, so like they they gotta go or at least get used up. It's got um. There's there's sugar. There's flour. I don't even know, okay? There, there, there's things in Ziploc freezer bags that, like, I don't, I, I honestly have no concept of what they are. So, we're gonna clear that out today. I'm very much looking forward to it. Okay, Lover's Card uses magic skin. Tainted Lover's Card uses magic skin. So, we use it in the secret room. I'm not against that, man. I'm, I, it's not that incredible. But I'm not against it. And I'm here to tell you, you know, if you're going to make me, um, you know, like have to do stuff like that to get the dub, I have very disappointing news for you, which is that I'm going to get the dub. Because I think we're, we're just built differently now. Like, I, I finally, I understand what needs to be done in Repentance. We're not throwing HP away for no reason. I'm not guaranteeing you that we're going to, you know, freaking crush the true ending or we're going to crush Delirium or whatever, but... 
I, I think I, I understand what this what this game takes at this point in my life. Um, I, I do think Blue Candle's the play here, and, and I'll be moving on. We're actually on pace for Boss Rush, which means in my head, we're on pace for Hush. If we're on pace for Hush, if we wanted to do um, Delirium, we totally could. Which I think, in general, that unless you desperately need a dub, and I don't, I don't think we're in desperately seeking dub territory yet, but unless you're desperately seeking a win, I think you try to knock out the hardest thing possible before you do the easy stuff. You know, and, and fighting Delirium is definitely... It's up there for, for hardest thing in the game, for sure. Dude, Soul of the Forgotten? I, I, I think it's one of the lesser souls. And any soul that, like... I mean, I, I hate to make this sound as negative as possible. I think um, the the souls that just spawn a version of that character for a second are not the ones that make me most excited. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> we might, we, you know, I, I got a, a crazy idea here, all right? Let me see if we can break this open. Like, this is the great thing about Repentance on top of all the new stuff, is the way that the new stuff interacts with itself and with the stuff that used to be in the game to begin with. So, like, if we spawn the Forgotten here... Can we get him to play the Eddie room? I don't believe so. It doesn't appear like that's gonna work, uh, unfortunately. But you know, while we're while we're here, that would be sick, though, right? I don't know. Maybe it did work because that was like our third play, right? You feel? I don't know. I don't know. Well, there's our angel deal, so we we love that. Um, and uh, I guess our forgotten is gone after. I I thought it lasted until it died. Maybe we walked them in there. I, I, I can't in good, in, in confidence say that I didn't. Um, and then, like, hold on. So the item we got here is legitimately just angel deals. It, it's like goat head for angel deals, right? That's great, but it does also mean we don't have a whole lot of reason to to keep playing the Eddie room. So better get out now than than uh, you know cause ourselves great strife. We also didn't even need the key piece. For that matter, we've already fought Mega Satan, but, uh, you know, there's nothing I can say in my own defense. Let's move on. <laughs> but I, I do, I, you know, there's been a lot of talk about the items and the bosses and the biomes and stuff like that. I guess we could have used the Soul of the Forgotten to open that as well. But uh, it's it's also, you know, you got to remember there's a multiplicative aspect there, you know. The, the way that everything interacts together um, also has myriad implications, which is super cool. Okay, get, okay, okay. This is obviously is not going well. I'm not trying to set the stage for like a, an eventual loss here because I, I think that we got a lot working out for us right now. That was just really bad. Um, but if you look at our item tracker, we really do have like a couple of good items and that's basically it. <laughs> we do have blue candle, yes. Um, keep in mind we have also taken the tears down. You know, so there's there, there's some balance in there in the seen and the unseen, but we, we every single item room essentially over the course of this entire run, except maybe two, has had a uh, a spacebar item that sucked in it as well. So we're we're really underpowered by a large degree. I I think that we're owed. We're we're due. Now I'm hoping that the angel stand or the the angel rooms are gonna get us there, but. So yeah, I, I don't know, like a couple of weeks ago, I know I, you're like, I know you, you cleaned your fridge one time and you won't shut up about it, but like, cleaning my fridge was like a therapeutic exercise for me. It brought me more peace than, than any, you know, medicine I've ever taken. These are still not that good, but I'm gonna gamble that at some point that might be worth something for us. Um, so now I'm like, dude, do it all up, you know? The clean clean out your spice rack. I, I know I got, you know, like garlic salt that's two years, five years old, ten years old. I don't really care. But I don't want to be eating dried oregano leaves from, you know, Obama's first term. I'm not super paranoid about food safety necessarily, but and, and you know, dried herbs and, and spices, they last a reasonably long time. But that that's long enough. Like, it, 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 you gotta be replacing those, like, you know... 
I don't know. I was gonna say more often than you replace your car. Like that, it's out. Uh, it's out there trying to fight the fiesta for longevity. Nothing. Something. That I, I think that actually that's it's not possible for there to be a second secret room there. But okay, this is a, a nightmare boss fight. We know we're going to get an angel deal here, but we also know we've already seen what the angel deal is. I wonder if we could just charm him when he's about to brim. You think that's you think that's possible? Because I don't. I I, I do not know, um, but I do think we're gonna live. These guys will get charmed, thankfully. Charmed, I'm sure. Is that what that expression means? That was that was not the way you play that, but life goes on. Well, well thankfully we didn't get hit there. I w I'm so happy to have an HP upgrade. And, of course, we knew that's how that was going to go down. But, um, you know, with a couple of extra bombs here, I don't, I don't mind sneaking in here, maybe getting a few extra spiders to help me next floor. All right. Uh, so we're going down to the depths, too. It would be awesome, although a little ambitious, if we could get the Fool card and and beat uh, or uh, get an item out of Boss Rush. We're very much in one of those classic, like, beggars can't be choosers positions. So, like, <laughs> that's totally my bad, to be fair. Um, any any chance to get a uh, another item would help us out. This really is, like, historically bad. <laughs> I'm hoping that at some point, uh, all this belly aching actually looks embarrassing. That would be a dream for me. If we look back and we go, why was I complaining so much? This run actually ended up owning. Then I would say, to be honest, probably, uh... Ansus is maybe huge here. If we have any chance to do this, this is how it's going to come to pass. But we do need to find the fool on the way. It's not there. You got. You gotta lean into. You gotta give it a try at least. It's not there. We gotta. It's gotta be in this room then. It isn't. Okay. Fair enough. Then. Then let's slow it down. We, forget boss rush. We don't need to worry about it. Are we gonna do true ending? Let's go. Should have waited on that, but that's okay. Are we gonna do true ending or are we gonna do delirium? Well, the first question is what's easier, and the answer is true ending. The second question is. Are you strong enough to do the harder one? And I think the answer is absolutely not. <laughs> like, under no circumstances. So, um, let's let's try to finesse true ending out of this one. I think that's a sensible play. But yeah, you know what I realized, I guess? Like, I, I don't consider myself a minimalist guy. At all. I'm not one of... Like, I, I watched, uh, like, half of a documentary about minimalism. And there's, like, a great... That's an amazing sentence if I had actually constructed it to be humorous. If you just think about the irony there, but uh, and I didn't, so let's just ignore that. Um, and I, I did definitely, when I was watching it, I was not... I, I, I thought to myself, I feel like these people have some good ideas, but it's a lifestyle that's not completely for me. Like, I, I enjoy the fact that, you know, if I forget to do dishes for one day... I'm not stuck with not being able to eat because the dishes are dirty. Like, the only dishes I own are dirty. But I do also, like, um, you know, I sometimes I open up, like, you know, our fridge. This is a bit of a flex, so I apologize. Um, but sometimes I open up my fridge or, like, the cabinets or something like that, and I'm like, why do we own this much stuff? <laughs> so I think... That's a good exercise, at least, in starting to clean things out a little bit, you know? Starting to, like, why why do I have, you know, three different containers of cumin? How did that happen? You know how it happened. You got to the grocery store, you were excited to make some stews. Okay, 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 okay. And you said, I don't know if I have cumin. You thought to yourself, I probably have cumin, but I don't want to have to go back to the grocery store. And that's how you find yourself in this... In this sad state. Um, anyway, that's... I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just looking forward to cleaning it out, I suppose. And also looking forward to cooking. Oh, man. Am I looking forward to getting some cooking done now that the HelloFresh arc is over? Please stop hitting me. 
Yes, please. I have to say, Justin is a, a gentleman and a scholar. He's hooked me up with some recipes, like a potato chickpea curry that I'm very eager to try. Very eager to try, indeed. I haven't been this excited about cooking in a long time. Okay, retrovision? I don't know, let's... let's what is this? What? <laughs> Can I own something for you? Like, as much as Red Key has been awesome, uh, I think we need to take Sulfur to have any realistic chance of, of winning this run. I had no idea you could get uh, a deal with the devil hiding in the walls. Dude, two items that Repentance has done the most positivity for. You say it with me. Seven seals and... Well, Red Key admittedly came to existence with Repentance, but... So it's, it's not really like it's done in any favors. It's more like it's, you know... I'm coming to terms with the fact that I underrated this item. I think I, you know, it's a classic situation for me. I think I had one bad interaction with it and then went like, ah, it sucks. And then like a thousand people were like, actually, it's pretty good. And I was like, I don't think any of you know what you're talking about. A little hubris involved there. Oh. Wouldn't, wouldn't be the first time. I'm, I'm not sure if Sulphur is actually doing anything for us, for the record, but it doesn't matter which of these we take. So let's take this, just so hopefully we take less damage, maybe. But then I'm like, we're not even going to fight in here, so who cares? Um, we're going to get out. And I think we're going to, I think we're going to wing it, man. I think we're going to try here. We do need true ending, right? Like, this would be an embarrassing uh, problem for us. Yeah, we need true ending. Okay. It didn't really look like Sulphur was helping us, by the way, but uh, I, I could be mistaken. This run also is still kind of doo-doo. As long as... If Sulphur works and we have it for the boss, then I feel like it's it's awesome. But the, we, we have... and the, Most of our damage right now is honestly being done by, by Pokego. So, like, I'm not gonna... <laughs> not gonna act like we're doing an amazing job right now. Um, I think we just had way too many... That's so good. I didn't know that would even work with what we got here. But I think we just had way too many space bar items on this run. Like, the amount of space bar items we had was unbelievable. If we could get something out of it, I'd... I'd consider this to be a huge win. Because this is a run where I, I think a loss has uh, has existed for us, you know, in... Uh, that's pretty good. A, a loss has existed, you know, in the multiverse for us in a major way. There, there's a lot of runs here that I think contribute to a loss. Now, I'm going to be nice to my donation machine rather than buy a membership card. Which is debatable. Just think about it this way. So I'm, I'm just leaning, you know, off mic to, to scratch my armpit a little bit, to be honest with you. But um, if you'll excuse me here, I don't think either matter that much. But um, I think that it makes the most sense to, you know, think of it like we're just buying a really expensive luck upgrade. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that immensely. It, it would be awesome to, to double up on Sulphur. I think the only way we could do that is like a long fight plus like jumper cable maybe, but it would be it would be sweet. This should be totally fine. I'm so happy with what we've gotten from uh, Poke Go here. Like this is this is crazy talk. If somehow these uh, charged gapers, I apologize for the verbiage. If somehow they make it uh, all the way to like the the beasts. We're gonna be unbelievably stoked. What was that bomb? Like that's that's stunning. Let's see what we got in here. Well, we don't care for Beyblade, and we can't reroll. We have literally no uh, resources necessary to get the reroll. What what a fortuitous opportunity to use a Hangman card. Lucky me. Now we can reroll once. I think that's realistically about as good as we're ever gonna do. We also, we get to see a fleeting look at what it could have been, I think, before it changes. I think, uh, out of these two, 
I think we got the right one. I, I don't know. Creep shot with the brimstone might have worked. If it did, then then maybe we would have rather had that. But, you know, we, we don't get to choose. So, who cares? We did see this item room on the way. Yeah, I, th I think we got a good spot. Let's put it that way. But I think what would really hit the spot for us even greater than what we presently got is just, like, a good card. If we could just get one good card and uh, and carry that all the way, I think I'd be pretty happy with myself. But yeah, that's, that's my weekend, man. I mean... You might think that I, I, I've aged into a, a boring father a number one i think you're right but b also you will be ashamed of your words and your deeds once that second dose gets here oh my god i'm gonna it's gonna be a midlife crisis the likes of which you've never seen before i might even take a pill in ibiza i don't know what it means it, it would probably be like a robaxa set or something to help out with my you know burgeoning sciatica We did leave some items behind now that I think about it, but I don't know. As, as bad as Sulfur might be, if it's good, it's worth more for us. And I think that if we could double up on it, on the, on the beast fight in particular, it could justify its own existence. No, oh, but in all sincerity, like, you know, there's a limited amount of stuff going on here. I watched half of Beverly Hills Ninja last night. Like, that's about it. You might say, why are you watching half of all these movies? Sometimes you just, you know, I'll watch 45 minutes of it, and then I, uh, you know, I'm pulled away by some kind of domestic duty or something like that, or I have to go to bed. Uh, and then I, uh, you know, when it comes time the next day, I'm like, what I, you know, I get the choice to buy in again for what I've already seen part of and finish it, or I get the choice to try out something new. Oftentimes that's something new is the, is the that's the hotness for me, you know? That's almost what happened with, with uh, Inside by Bo Burnham. I'm happy I, I fought my instinct there. Because um, I was like, I watched the first half an hour and then I went to bed because I was tired. And I was like, that was really good. But then the next day I was like, uh, do I really want to get back into it after, you know, I mean, I could, I've already seen half of it. I get the general gist of it. And then I'm glad I, uh, you know, it's just a lesson that the, the perseverance... To, to finish a piece of media um, sometimes has merit. In the case of Beverly Hills Ninja, I'm not totally sure. <laughs> I, I can't wait to see uh, how Haru manages to... Uh oh, we should really start using that on rooms. Um, how Haru manages to uh, save Allison Page, also known as Sally Jones. But that, you know, I might just read the Wikipedia synopsis on that one. We'll see. I don't know. It remains to be seen. Let's put it that way. Either way. You know, one post-it note marker at a time. We're making it happen here. It's still going to take us a very long time. We have a lot of characters for whom the hardest stuff still remains. I thought maybe we'd get some poop spiders out of that. Okay, hold on. Look at that. I'm asking for, a, you know, dopamine for the literal, like, smallest amount of uh, actual strategic play I've done this run. But it is what it is. You Actually, you know what? Here's... As we reach the end stage of lockdown here, uh, hopefully... Um, what is, like, this is what passes for an anecdote. I noticed that Tenet has now come to uh, the movie channels in Canada. So I may find myself watching Tenet. So set your calendar. At some point in the next several months, I may watch Tenet. Um, and I can finally give my opinion on one of the six movies that came out in 2020. I've already, I've already talked about Minari. I thought it was fantastic. I loved it. Um, there's Tenet, and then I believe there's Sonic the Hedgehog. I think those are the... Wait, no. Hold on. I forgot about the Invisible Man. You know, it'll be really interesting to see, like, 
what box office data looks like when this thing's fully over. I think there's two schools of thought out there, and, and I think both of them are valid, by the way. I don't think this is a case where, like, one ideology on this is going to rule the world. But I think there are some people who, over the course of the pandemic, realized, hey, you know, I, I've been enjoying this pivot to streaming. You know, I enjoy the fact that we have uh, the ability to watch theater-quality movies at home. Yeah, sure, maybe my setup's not so good, but, like... At least I can pause and go to the bathroom whenever I want. I don't have to eat the food that they offer at the movie theater, which is like, you know, it's nice that they actually offer like hot meals now, but most of them are like sous vide or microwaved and then passed out to you. But like, you know, there, there's a group of people that I think are like streaming is the way forward, especially now that there's more distribution uh, in that way. And like some of the stuff like on HBO Max is just coming directly to, uh, uh, to, to streaming at home. Instead of theaters or in addition to theaters. Okay, sure. I don't mind a speed upgrade. Uh, and then I think there's some people out there who are like, when the movie theaters open up, I will go see garbage. I will pay gladly to go watch, like, Chris Evans in a romantic comedy. Not in a Marvel movie, in a romantic comedy even. Um, called, like, No Strings Attached or, you know, Just Effin' or something like that. And I... I you might ask what group I find myself in. The answer at present is that I honestly don't know, okay? But what I will say is that the closest thing to, like, a date that my wife and I have had since the baby was when I drove her to her vaccine appointment. Like, we're in, uh, oh, and the overcooked Twitch Rivals, where the babysitter came over and you know, watch the baby while we played in that Twitch Rivals together. Those are the two dates that we've had, like, since September of 2020. So I wouldn't be too surprised to find myself in the group that's like, I'm excited to go to the movie theater and watch garbage. I think for there's going to be a weird little, like, honeymoon hangover where literally, like, just running an errand is going to feel like going to senior prom. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, and also scared of what it might entail. Like, I'm like, I gotta get a suit so that I can dress up and, you know, renew my <laughs> car insurance. <laughs> That's where I'm at. I Stop walking into him! Like, I'm... I'm just looking forward to... Uh, and and I, I never thought I'd say it, but I'm looking forward to interacting with other people again. Even in, like, an administrative context. Please, please, I just wish to sneeze. Dude, the the sneeze visual effect on, on this boss looks a little, uh, looks a little jank, huh? Botfly, I appreciate your support. Thank you. We're doing a terrible job here. I still think we gotta win. I, I would give us, like, an 80% chance of the win here. There you go. That's what you're looking for. Chain those sneezes, then land it. Because after you land a sneeze, we haven't talked about it, but I just assume that you knew, honestly. Um, but you get... Oh, come on. That was... That was rough. You get like a 50% a damage bonus to enemies after you sneeze on them. Just some holy light shots would, would help out. Like, so many so many things would really hit the spot right now. There you go. Just pick your path. You're picking your path. Just keep picking your path. We're picking paths here. You got me on that one, I'm willing to admit. We get three spirit hearts at the end of this, right? Like, or, or when we move to the next fight. Come on, man. Just not... Beyblades? Like, Beyblades forever? Someone out there is like, hell yeah, brother, Beyblades forever. <laughs> this is for saying no to let it rip. Every time this boss says, don't be greedy, or at least the music says, don't be greedy, in my head I just hear, now don't be vain and don't be whiny, or else my brother, I might have to go get medieval on your hiney um, from uh, Amish Paradise by Weird Al Yankovic. Anybody else? Just me? 
Okay, there goes Holy Mantle. Um, though I hate to say it, the play for us here might be to avoid sneezing uh, in favor of just stacking up Sulfur Charges. Or like, you know, I think we can sneeze in a situation like that. Um, where we were kind of aware of what the next pattern is. Like, there's our first Sulfur. I don't know how it's working. If we're getting one Holy Light per beam, I'm a happy man. If we're getting two, you know, I'm like every valley. I shall be exalted. If we, I, double Sulfur should... Oh, dude, that, I was just going to say it's the adult transformation. I have no idea if our beam is getting stronger. This is not normally the way Sulfur looks when it's working. But that doesn't mean it's not working. And I'm loving the beams, man. I, that seems like we're doing a ton of damage. Yeah, fair enough. My two cents is that that seems like it's doing a, a lot of damage. We did just get a third sulfur. I don't. I, 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 I now that I think about it, I'm like I'm thinking back to some greedier mode runs. Sulfur absolutely keeps stacking. Like it gives you a little damage up every single time you use it. So, I know for a fact... Okay, that was just terrible. I know for a fact we're getting more out of this right now. And this is the whole reason we, we took it this far to begin with, was to, like, justify its existence. So, if it weren't for that damage bonus, we, we would not be too happy with ourselves. Let's put it that way. You say brain? Frame? You work at Lens Crafters, bro? Okay, we should get at least one more Sulfur. I'm gonna say, hey, me? That, it, it's painful for me that we, we can't break a scythe in a single brimstone shot. Oh, come on. <laughs> It, this is going to be very serious. <laughs> One more sulfur charge, please. Please, sir. I want some more. How? How are you not dead? Thank you, thank you. Okay, there's our sulfur charge. We got two hits. I, I, I feel like there's a very reasonable chance here. Probably shouldn't set the... Shouldn't set the sneeze as a priority. This is the run that as as of present is at that rare intersection. I, I can't. I literally... So I'm gonna die just because I don't have the speed, I guess. Uh, is it the rare intersection of Cursed and Throw? Because I think, like, we could have lived um, until we got you know, sucked up there and didn't have the speed to move out or whatever. Maybe I got too close at the end, but um, we we really got very little there. I'm not trying to complain too much. I had a fun time, but still. Anyway, I'm going to go clean out my spice rack. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'm set a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!